Don't believe this. You're not going to believe this, guys. That's I don't know if you can even see him under there. That's Buddy. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to go to my mom's house. I was just too slow in making it. There we go. He's out. Hey, come on, Buddy. Get out of there. Please get away from my car. I got to leave. I'm, I'm going to my mom's house. And... Um, I gave him a nut, I gave him a walnut, but then I had to load my car up, and then I wanted to say goodbye to meat, so, and he went and he stashed the walnut, and then he came back, and he, and I, I did make things ready, I was going to get, put more nuts outside, but since I really mostly only care about Buddy, um, I didn't put too many more nuts outside, because he's the only one that I care that gets them. I know, I'm being selfish, right? I mean, I give the, the other ones a lot of food. And so, but I did put a couple in locations where I think mostly Buddy will get to them. And I did give a little bit of other food. Hey, Buddy, I do love you. I love you. I love you, Buddy, but I wish you'd get away from my car. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to give him the second one to stash. I have one in my pocket. The only problem is I have to go, I'll probably take one of the other ones I was going to give to him away. Um, when he goes to stash it, I will go upstairs. I'm not going to go in my house again, but I'll go up to where I stashed one of the nuts and so I can have a nut in my pocket. So when I come home, I'll have one in my pocket in case he comes. Because I was about ready to go in my car and I just saw Buddy barreling at me. And it's funny because I had my laundry in my hand, uh, hand and I was like well it's 12 o'clock but he's not out yet he's not around generally at this time and he came barreling up the stairs and I barely had time to close the door and then and I had like I said the laundry in my hands <laughs> I was like no 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 and so I gave him like I said that's when I gave him the walnut and everything um it's fine I get to see him again this is the second time I saw him this morning I saw saw him right when I woke up I, I think I updated as I said before yeah this is day 30 um day 35 actually I think I might have said dirt day 34 but it, this is the fourth day of September he was in 31 days all of August he was released successfully so this is his 35th day he is closing in on almost as many days in the wild as when I first found him because he was about, like I said, anywhere between probably four to six weeks old. Probably not even six. But you, I mean, you just say six times seven, you know, that's 42. So he's about as much time ever that he did in the wild. And I'm very, very happy that the Budster is doing pretty good. I mean, I see him, I see him every day. I would love to be able to see him every day for like the next three years. I don't think his lifespan, his life expectancy will be that high because he's out in the wild. He, I mean, he could live six years out in the wild. He could live, you know, even longer than six. I, I doubt it. I, like I said, I can, I want him to get through winter first, but I have no idea how long he'll, nobody has any idea how long any of us will live. Um, I just love this little guy it saddens me that I can't protect him like how I used to be able to but I think he's mostly enjoying his time out he um sigh because like I said I saw him mixing it up with another squirrel that's both good and bad I mean he needs to mix it up but I mean I do think they do have social communities some somehow they do talk to each other when you hear they they, they bark and they talk and they warn each other about predators so I mean him him getting I'm just saying his life might be shorter. Most likely his life is going to be shorter. But, I mean, there was always stuff in my house I always worried about, like him biting into my elect electrical, out um, not outlets, but the cords. Oh, sorry, bee flew in my face. And um, that always scared me, that possibility. Also, I was always ter terrified of, like, what happens if, like, there's a fire or something in my house. Not that, you know, there should be, but, I mean, you know, crap happens. 
And I was like, okay, how would I get Buddy out when he's going to be panicking? And I said, how, how would I get him out if there's a fire? And I all, all oftentimes were like, well, you just have to get him up, swaddle him, and then run with him. And then deal with it later like that. And don't have to deal with that now. He's also been up on my roof more. He was up on my roof yesterday. In a way, this is kind of nice that he took the time to eat that. Because, and I have one more right in front of me. I have one more to give him. Uh, in a way, this is kind of good that he ate this because I got to spend time with him. I love you, buddy. Yeah, come over here. Come over here. Hey, bud, bud, come over here. Okay. There you go. No, 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 there you go. No, no, shit. Sorry about the language. Oh, there's bees fighting. Uh, can I zoom in on them? Oh, they were fighting. Sorry that I didn't get... Hey, buddy, you gotta go. All right, see everybody. I gotta make sure he clears out so I can leave.